hi everyone uh, welcome to today's tutorial so today we have a lot to discuss and we're still on thermodynamics so if you have not yet subscribed to the channel kindly do so by clicking on the button that is just down there okay so uh, the most important things that we are looking at today are just the first thing is the ideal uh, gas law we're looking at the ideal gas law and we we'll also discuss the uh, the combination of the three uh, gas laws which are we have the Charles law yeah we have the Charles law then there's Boyle's law And then apart from the Boyle's law, Charles law, we also have gay Lussac's law. So I just say Lussac's law. Okay, this is not how you spell it, but as long as you are able to read it, it's fine. So the combination of these three uh, gives up a fourth law, which is just P1 V1 over T1 is equal to P2 V2 over T2. So this is the law that we are looking at and then the ideal gas law is simply just P uh, V is equal to N R T. Yeah, so let's take a look at some examples uh, which will require us to use any of the two or both. Okay. Alright, so uh, the first question here this was the exercise in the yeah in the previous uh, lesson that we had so the first question is if 3.5 meter cubed of a gas is initially at standard temperature and pressure um, is placed under a pressure of 3.2 atm the temperature of the gas rises to 38 degrees Celsius. What is the volume? So let us take the data. It's important to take data in physics. So the first thing that you need to do here is to identify what you've been given there. So we've been given to say if 3.5 cubic centimeters of, um, of a gas, meaning we've been given v1 to be 3.5 uh, meter cubed and then we also have p1 so p1 they're saying it's initially meaning p1 that's our initial pressure it's in, it's initially at the standard uh, temperature and pressure so the standard pressure for an ideal gas yeah the first thing that i forgot to mention is that you always have to consider this gas to be an ideal gas so uh, we'll make an assumption to say so let's just assume that we are dealing with an ideal gas so we just assume that we are dealing with an ideal gas so the standard temperature and at standard temperature and pressure the, the ideal gas has the pressure of um uh, of 1 atm and then the, it also has the temperature in degrees celsius of uh, 0 uh, degrees celsius which is equivalent to 273 kelvin that is v1 p1 and t1 so let us now find v2 so what is v2 v2 is the question we've been asked to find what is the volume at 38 if the temperature has been raised to 38 degrees so the volume v2 we don't have that's the one that we're looking for and then do we have p2 yes p2 is simply just here they're saying it is placed under a pressure of that so p2 is 3.2 atm and then do we have t2 yes t2 has been given where is it it's there 38 so 
T2 is simply just 38 degrees Celsius, which can be converted to kelvins by just saying, uh, by just adding this 38 plus 273. So when you add 273 plus uh, 38, the answer you get is 311 Kelvin. So this is our T2. So having gotten the data, we can now use our formula, which is P1 V1 over T1 is equal to P2 V2 over T2. So we can now make V2 the subject. So when we make V2 the subject of the formula, we're going to have um, P1 over P2. And then, okay, let me just draw a, a long division line. And then we have uh, T2 over T1, and then we have V1 there. So we can just replace the values. So do we have P1? Yes, it is 1 A T M. Then do we have um, T2? Yes, it is simply just 311 Kelvin. Do we have, um, what, what else? Do we have V1? V1 has been given to be 3.5, 3.5 meter cubed then everything divided by p2 and t1 so p2 is simply just uh, three point um, let me just write it uh, under here it's just 3.2 uh, atm and then we also have t1 which is just 273 kelvin so when you multiply all these you discover that your answer will simply just be equal to 1.25 meter cubed so this is going to be your answer all right so uh thank you very much for oh sorry we still have other questions there is question two and question three all right let's move on to question two okay so let's take a look at question two all right so question two is um, if 16 mole is if 16 moles of helium gas is uh, is at 10 degrees Celsius and a gauge pressure of 0 0.35 at atmospheres, calculate the volume of of the helium gas under these conditions. So this one um, I I guess is straightforward. Yeah, so this one, you don't even have to think a lot about this question. The question is straightforward. We know to say, um, uh, okay, let's first take the data. Let's first take the data. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry. Let's first take the data. So data. First, have to take the data. So data, what we've been given is N is equal to 16. And then we also have uh, the initial temperature, which is 10 degrees. Uh, the initial temperature, which is 10. Okay, T. Let me just say Ti. Ti, which is T initial, is 10 degrees Celsius which is just the same as 283.15 Kelvin. And then, what else has been given? The gauge pressure. So the pressure that we've been given here is P gauge, which is the gauge pressure. Uh, so this gauge pressure, okay, I'll explain. Let me just say P gauge is equal to 0 0.3580 ATM. So, okay, before I explain, let me first write the formula. So, the formula that we're supposed to use to find the volume, because we've been given N, we've been given T1 and P. So, the formula that we're supposed to use is simply just the ideal gas law. So, the first, the, the first thing, even for this one, we have to make an assumption that we're dealing with an ideal gas. Yeah. So, an ideal gas. 
so from there oh gas is just single s sorry okay so and i do gas so from there we say pv is equal to n r n r t and then we make v the subject of the formula so v is equal to n um yeah n and then r t everything divided by p so the t that we use here is the absolute temperature even the p that is used there is the absolute pressure so this is not the p you are supposed to use there no the p you're supposed to use is simply the absolute uh, pressure so the absolute pressure is equal to uh, atmospheric pressure so le let me just say p atmosphere atmospheric pressure plus uh, the gauge pressure let me write it properly so press the gauge pressure yeah so the atmospheric pressure plus the gauge pressure gives you the absolute uh, pressure so the, uh, the absolute pressure is simply equal to the atmospheric pressure is uh, since this one we, we considered it to be a, 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 a what is an ideal gas so the atmospheric pressure will be taken to be 1 atm and then the gauge pressure that we've been given is simply just 0 0.3 5 a t m so the the atmospheric pressure that we're going to use in the formula i mean the absolute pressure we're going to use in the formula will now just be equal to 1.35 a t m all right so let us now find the volume so the volume will now be the number of moles that we've been given is simply just 16 more and then the other thing is the r so R here since I'm using atmospheres um, I'm going to convert this to Pascals for for me to make my work easy yeah so I'm going to convert this to Pascals and how do I do that it's just by multiplying by 1.013 uh, times 10 to the power 5 okay okay so we have um, R so I'm going to use R which is 8.0 uh 314 8.314 of course it's in joules uh more kelvin joules per more uh kelvin these are the units for my absolute uh, i mean my r and then t there is simply just uh 283.15 so it's simply just 283.15 283.15 that's my temperature and then uh, I'm going to divide this by the pressure so the pressure I'm going to use is this one 1.35 uh, ATM and then this multiplied by 1.013 uh, times 10 to the power 5 uh, so this is in Pascos per ATM okay so let me just talk about let me just say something about the gas constant R okay so if you decide to use R which is 0 0.0 um, 0 0.08 so when you look at the, the 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 units for this one, this one is in liters, and then atmospheres, and then per more kelvin. So this one is in liters, atmospheres per more kelvin. Okay, still some space per more, and then kelvin. So this is the these are the units for this one. So when you decide to use this one it simply means that the pressure that we're going to use should be in atm one and then if at all there is any point where you are supposed to use the volume the volume is supposed to be in um 
the, the volume is supposed to be in liters yeah so that is simply what you have to do okay and then yeah so meaning the pressure is supposed to be in atm and then the volume is supposed to be in liters and then moles is just moles and then kelvin is just kelvin there okay so if you use this you multiply everything there you discover that your answer which is the value of v will just be 0 0.275 yeah, five four uh, meters cubed. So this is going to be your volume. This is going to be the volume that they are looking for. Let's take a look at B quickly. B is uh, the temperature. Oh, we have to calculate the temperature if the gas is compressed to precisely half the volume uh, of. I mean the volume at gauge pressure of one half the volume at gauge pressure one so here what you just need to do is uh, we use the same uh, combined laws formula which is uh, p1 v1 over t1 is equal to p2 v2 over t2 and then in this question i mean in this formula we're going to make um we're going to make t to the subject of the formula because they are asking us to find the temperature if the gas is compressed uh, so in other words it's the final temperature on the gas i mean if the gas is compressed to precisely half the volume at the gauge pressure of one atm so we can make uh, t to the subject so when we make t to the subject we're just going to have uh, p2 on top there and then v2 then t1 then everything divided by uh, p1 v1 so this is what you're going to have and then from there we can now replace the figures so do we have p2 yes so our p2 our p2 is simply just uh, 2 atm why do i say 2 atm so they are saying the gauge pressure is 1 so if the gauge pressure is 1 remember the formula here gauge pressure is 1 so you add this one atm plus another one there you add it to the to the uh, atmos uh, atmospheric pressure okay so atmospheric pressure we considered it to be 1 and because we assumed that this was an ideal gas at standard temperature and pressure so that's going to be one plus one which will give us two so our um yeah so our our, our p2 is simply just two and then the ratio of v1 over v2 i mean the ratio of v2 over v1 is simply just um, okay let me write, be writing everything in advance so p p p2 is simply 2 atm then p1 has been given which we found there it was just 1.35 atm and then the other thing that we that we have is simply just the ratio of the volumes so the ratio of the volumes that we have uh I mean the ratio of the volumes when you read the question they are saying uh, the gas is compressed to precisely half the volume at the gauge pressure of that so half the volume half the volume so half v so meaning v1 uh, I mean so v1 so what they mean by say by, by saying is compressed to half the volume of I mean half the volume yes they, they simply mean um, half times v1 is equal to uh, v2 so meaning when we say v2 over v1 so we divide by v1 on both sides say half is equal to v2 over v1 so v2 over v1 is simply just equal to half so we can just put uh, so if I put this in brackets I can also just put 1 over 2 there in brackets 
and then what else is remaining uh the temperature t1 which is just 283.15 so this is 283.15 kelvin then from there we can just do the multiplication there to get our answer so t2 simply just give us uh, something close to 210 kelvin which we can convert to uh, negative 63 uh, degrees celsius so this is the temperature they were looking for okay so let's quickly move on to question three yeah, question three let's look at question three okay all right so question three says what is the pressure inside a 38 a 38 liter container holding 105 kg of argon gas at 21.6 degrees celsius so you've been given the temperature you've been given the mass of argon and then you've also been given the volume then they're asking us to find the pressure so this one is straightforward you first have to find the number of moles of uh, argon and then apart from finding the number of moles of argon you have to find um, you have to find the the what is what they want is the pressure yeah so let's begin solving what is the pressure inside is it eight liters container uh holding 105 kg of argon gas so um so we know that the formula is simply just uh a is equal to uh, oh sorry, we're looking for the pressure. So the formula is just PV pressure times volume is equal to NRT. So this is the formula. And then after finding the formula, I mean we can now make P the subject of the formula. So P is simply just uh, NRT over V but do we have n n we don't have we can use the formula that we already know which is n is equal to mass over the molar mass so the mass over the atomic mass okay so the mass that we've been given is simply just 105 so you can either convert this to grams or you just use it how it is 105 kg but when you look at the formula for the molar mass, we know that the formula for the molar, I mean the molar mass of argon, simply just 39.95. So this one is in uh, grams per mole. So if you want to convert this to kg per mole, this will just be multiplied by 10 to the power negative 3. Uh, kg per mole then when you divide you find your answer to be 2628 more moles so this is the, the the number of moles that you use there so p will simply just be equal to what is the number of moles there you put 2600 28 moles and then what is the gas constant i like using this one 8.314 um, joules kelvin more then times the temperature so the temperature just have to add the 26 that you've been given uh, uh 26 point oh sorry 21.6 that you've been given there you add it to the 273 in order to convert it to Kelvin. So when you add 273, you just say 273, uh, 273 plus 21, oh sorry, 21.6. When you add the two, this will be in Kelvin. And then you divide everything by the volume that you've been given which is 38 uh, liters but of course you have to convert this to 
meter cubed so you multiply it by 10 to the power negative 3 meter cubed meter cubed per liter so when you do the simplification you find your answer to be something close to 1.69 times 10 to the power 8 pascal so this is the answer that you're going to get and then um this if you convert it for those that uh, use the other gas constant you have to find something like this you have to find 1670 atmospheres so if you use the other gas constant without converting the liters you have to get 1670 atmospheres all right so this is how you do the questions thank you very much for watching uh for for watching the tutorial uh so there's a button down there under the screen which says subscribe uh, subscribe <laughs> and subscribe so click on that button so that you don't miss out the videos that i'll be posting okay see you in the next tutorial video